Hello everybody and welcome to another very exciting video. In this video I'm gonna show you all the improvements that I did for the Victor Field Maker in the second version now. I've been learning some new stuff like computer shaders uh, and I used it to improve the performance by a huge amount. I also added a bunch of other features so let's just uh, jump into it and show you how I made this uh, Victor field. So let's put the percentage to be 50. Now because we are, I'm using uh, GPU instancing you can show much more uh, uh, arrows without your computer lagging. So I'm gonna show 50% of the arrows and I'm gonna import the texture that I already made and as you can see it looks like this and it's uh, very smooth, no performance issues. And what I did was also I uh, used this uh, reorderable list so that uh, you can reorder your arrows. And I'm gonna show why that matters in a bit. Um, you can add four different types of arrows, two of them used to be there already the absolute which adds the same value for all of them relative is um, based on where the arrow is let's increase the force um, let's make this none so you can see better and as you can see when you are selecting the arrow you can select any arrow by clicking this centerpiece or by clicking here it will select it and it will highlight the selected arrows um, as you can see there is this blue area which is the outer radius and there is also a red area if you can see it here which is the inner radius and as for before the inner radius will have um, this full amount of force applied to all of the pixels inside and then it fades out between the inner area and the outer area and also you can now select the tip of the arrow so that you can move it also the base of the arrow same thing and let's see the other modes that I added so we have multiply which would multiply the arrows again there is a, a an inner and an outer uh, um, radius inside of the inner radius it will multiply by the full amount so if you put zero then everything inside of the inner radius will be multiplied by zero uh, and it will fade out between the inner and the outer radius and you can see this smoothly and the other um, mode that I added is suck which creates a section uh, effect as you can see it will have zero values inside the inner radius and then in the outer radius it will create these arrows towards the arrow the base arrow right which creates a suction effect now if you put a negative value in the force then it will repel everything outside right all right another feature that i added is real time which you can just check this checkbox here and you will find this guy this uh, render texture which is called real time texture which you can use in your uh, vfx vfx graph 
So if we uh, select this guy and assign our real time texture, now you can see the effect of your arrows in real time. So that you don't need to save your texture every time and apply it to see what's happening. Which is very cool. Alright. Other features include... Um, so just to keep in mind, this acts as a toggle of selection rather than uh, just a normal selection. So if you click on this guy, it will select it. If you click on the other arrow, it will select both of them. If you click it again, it will unselect it. Right? Now, uh, another feature that I added is uh, multiple selection modifications. And so if you have multiple arrows selected, if you change any of these values for one of them, it will change for all selected arrows too, even the mode, right? So we'll make both of them multiply, both of them relative, and so on. And uh, obviously you can delete arrows using the minus key. And you can still uh, do the select to arrows, which uh, I created the base of this texture uh, by it. And we can show you that. If we create uh, a new texture, and then I created this using Blender, so you can choose or select all these objects and say selected two arrows uh, let's make them uh, suck mode and convert all of them and then let's disable this guy and now what we can do is open this choose all of these and you can increase the force for all of them together or the outer radius and you can see all the what's happening in real time right you can extend this guy here this guy here and so on so you can select your arrows from the root here or from the centerpiece or from here uh, which means that you can do something like this to select all of these and change whatever you want, like the force and so on. And if we extend this guy here, this guy here, and then we can select all of these and do Control Shift and D to uh, duplicate all of them. And then just instead of suck, we want relative and now we have both the section and the relative effects we can reduce it a little bit and uh, as you can see we have this stuff I did some modifications obviously to enhance it in certain places um, but yeah that's uh, that's the general idea and uh, I believe if you do this and hit the minus key, it will delete all of them, which is also cool. And uh, that sums it up. Um, again, there will be a light version which allows you for 15 arrows without the import functionality. And the pro version will have the import and unlimited number of arrows. And uh, that's it. Check out the links in the description to download the free version, the light one, or buy the pro one. And um, ask me anything on my email. 
You can find it in the About section of YouTube. And uh, have a nice one.